So Epicurus is not trying to answer the question, uh, how are your moral beliefs justified? Right? Uh, that would be interesting to see how Epicurus would answer that, but right now he just doesn't give a response. In fact, <laughs> a good chunk of this letter is saying that some other moral beliefs are not justified by using his own theory to show that they're not going to work. Right? So he's not asking the question, how are your moral beliefs justified? He's also not necessarily answering the question, whose interests are most important? I think under Epicurus' theory, this may not even come up. Um, at the very least, it doesn't necessarily come up. Right? So, you know, you maybe explain that a little bit later on, but you know, the kind of the short version is, if you're following Epicurus' theory, there wouldn't necessarily be a competition for these resources. So he's not answering the question, how are your moral beliefs justified? He's not answering the question, whose interests are most important? Rather, he's asking, trying to answer the question, you know, you know, what is the good? What's the moral good? And maybe even a way of thinking about this is trying to answer the question, uh, what is in your interest? So you know, Glaucon and Hobbes were both answering, trying to answer the question, whose interests are most important? Neither one of them spent a lot of time trying to answer the question, what exactly your interests are. Hmm. Just rather, you just have to protect your interest. And it was a presumption for Glaucon and Hobbes both that your interest inevitably will conflict with somebody else. Glaucon's answer to that conflict is, look out for yourself first. Hobbes' answer to that conflict is, you've got to give up some of your interest to protect your own life. Uh, uh, Epicurus, I think, if I could speak <laughs> for Epicurus, if that's really necessary, you'll get that joke later. Uh, I, I think you'd probably say, look, if you're following my theory right, there won't be this sort of competition. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. So, Epicurus is not answering the question, how, do you, how are your moral beliefs justified? He's not answering the question, whose interest is most important? He's moving on to, what is in your interest? What is the good? What has moral worth? What's worth pursuing? Hmm? What's worth having in your life? When you answer that question, then it's going to answer the question, well, how should you live your life? And the short answer is, you do what you need to do to acquire what has moral worth. Hmm. So Epicurus' answer to what has moral worth, what is, what's good, is pleasure. It's pleasure. This is a view in ethical theory called hedonism. Hedonism is the claim that what has moral worth is pleasure. Pleasure.